Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Liberty Lady Liz here. And today, I have a special video for you guys because today is the 4th of July. Also known as Independence Day. And I have a couple of Independence Day facts for you before I tell you what I'm doing. In today's video. So, today was the day that the Declaration of Independence was read. In the State House in Boston. But we, weren't de we were declared free, but we didn't sign it until August 2nd, 1776. Now, some people... Some delegates did sign it in uh, July 4th, 1776, but the ma majority of us, we signed it August 2nd, 1776. And I have my patriotic Minnie Mouse shirt <clears throat> from the Disney store. So, um, yeah. And I am also going over my grandparents later because tomorrow is my grandfather's 78th birthday. And we're going to have dinner and sing happy birthday to him. And he's going to open up presents. We're going to hang out. And I'm so excited. So that's also what's happening today. After my mother gets home from work and takes a shower. And also today is a Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest on TV in Coney Island, New York. Joey Chestnut ate the most. He ate either 74 or 76 hot dogs last year. Um, I've never seen it because I'm afraid it would make me sick watching it on TV, but I want to watch it one year. And I think that would be really interesting. And it's, you have to eat all the hot dogs and the buns, as many hot dogs and buns as you can within a certain, whatever amount of time they give you. Um, and yeah. And also, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson died today in 1826 on the 50th anniversary of the Declaration, but just hours apart. So those are all the 4th of July facts I have for you, but enough of me yip yapping, and let's get into today's video, and I'm going to slide the camera, there we go. And so today I'm reacting to the British Grenadier song, Red Coat from the Patriot. If you want to watch the Patriot, it'll be on today, I think on AMC. Um, it'll be, it's going to be on today all day, so the next time it airs, you can watch it. This is my favorite movie, it's with Mel Gibson. It's about a family in South Carolina who struggles with the American Revolution and um, deals with British Grenadiers and British Redcoats. So today, since it's the 4th of July, we are reacting to the British Grenadier song Redcoats from the Patriot. Now this is not actually from the Revolutionary War. It is based on the time period. It is based on the Revolutionary War, my favorite. But it is not actually from the Revolutionary War. Because in the Revolutionary War, they did not have cameras or YouTube or iPhones or anything like that, or radios or cars. They had to use ships, they had to walk, and a ship, it would take like six weeks for a letter to get overseas, and um, you had to use a horse-drawn carriage. So anyway, this is what we are reacting to, and let's get started. This is my favorite movie, by the way. You should have it. I think it's on Netflix, but if you want to watch it on TV, I think it's on AMC. Oh, let me rewind that. I know last year I did stuff with my flute. I just, I don't, I'm not dissing myself on the flute. It's just because I have these braces on. I'm going to have them on for two years, and I'm going to get the bombs ones on in August. I don't think... I'll, um, I don't think I can make a clear sound out of it, so I'm going to be reacting to this instead. So, enjoy. There's where Mel Gibson, plays, who plays Benjamin Martin, lives in the movie. This song is called The British Grenadiers, and we think of it, we think of it as a, um, we think of it as a 4th of July song, but it's actually towards the British, but we, we were f declared free today, but I don't think the king necessarily, like King George III necessarily liked it, but we were still fighting the American Revolution, even, even though we were declared free. So. Alright. 
So the reason why you're not seeing any fife and drum plays, but you're hearing it in the background, is because they're showing war scenes. And I apologize in advance if it gets a little bloody. It's just blood, war is not something to be excited over. It is something to be sad over. Not necessarily get anxiety, but just, you know, take it as it goes. But this is some war scenes. This is just reenactment, so it's not, it's not the actual thing. And if I'm sorry in advance if you're getting anxiety, you can just exit out this video. But for those of you who enjoy it, please um, enjoy it with me. All right, now they're all surrounding his house. And they're, oh, there they go. Okay, so. All right, I, I've got a teaching to do. I'm gonna stand up and be a history teacher for a second. <laughs> Can you guys see me? Okay. So this is Colonel Tavington. He was the head in the movie. He was played by Jason Isaacs, and he is also in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and he plays Cornelius Fudge, Draco Malfoy's dad. But he played Colonel Tavington in The Patriot with Mel Gibson. Now he's the um, head British Grenadier. Now the difference between British Grenadiers, our British Grenadiers are on horseback like that, and they all have these fluffy, poofy hats. And if you were a British redcoat who fought in the war, you had this, um, you had this tricorn hat. Tricorn hat, tri is a Latin root that means three, and it's a hat with three sides. If you don't know what it is, you can look it up, you can Google it. But yeah, this is Colonel Tavington, and he was the one who ordered them to burn their Auntie Charlotte's house down and their dad, Benjamin Martin's house down. So that's Colonel Tavington, and I don't know who all these others are. And then there's like a flag of some sort, I don't know what it is. But yeah. Sorry for all these interruptions, I just want to make that clear. But yeah. And in the summer, you didn't have... Ooh, they're, they're marching into battle. In the summer, you had to wear all the things. There were no shorts, there were no short sleeves. The women had to wear dresses and the men had to wear their uniforms or whatever they could find that was theirs. So yeah. Times are very different from then to now. I like the beat, and I like, I don't know why I like this time period in America so much, probably because it's just the beginning. And I'm sorry in advance if this gives you anxiety, it's just a part of the movie. Alright, so that was the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if that gave you anxiety. I know some people, some of you might get anxiety from it, but thank you for my 32nd subscriber. Thanks for 32 subscribers. Please give me 1K subscribers. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and some holidays, and I will see you on the next vlog. Peace, happy 4th of July, and just remember how far America has come.